Kate Middleton's heartfelt project on her cancer journey stands in stark contrast to the recent commercial endeavors of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, sparking widespread debate about authenticity and financial exploitation. Kate's film is praised for its deeply personal and uncommercialized approach. In her battle with cancer, she chose to share her experience with the public not for financial gain, but to raise awareness and inspire others a noble act that underscores her commitment to causes beyond personal benefit. Unlike many media projects associated with royalty, there is no lucrative agenda attached to her story, allowing her to maintain the respect and admiration of the public. On the other hand, Meghan and Harry continue to face criticism for their ventures, which are often viewed as exploiting their royal titles for financial gain. Their projects, including documentaries and promotional content, are perceived as commercial tools aimed at profiting from their association with the British monarchy, despite their stated desire for privacy and independence. The couple's decision to step back from royal duties under the guise of seeking a more private life is regularly called into question, as they continue to maintain a high public profile through media deals, including a Netflix series and memoirs. The conversation surrounding Harry and Meghan's financial moves often veers into accusations of hypocrisy. Critics argue that while the couple condemns the institution of the monarchy for its outdated values, they themselves leverage the privileges of their royal connections to sustain their media presence and business ventures. This apparent contradiction has fueled public anger, particularly among those who feel that Harry and Meghan's actions betray the very values of privacy and detachment they claim to champion. This leads to a deeper discussion about financial privilege within the royal family. The Duchy of Lancaster and the Duchy of Cornwall, vast estates controlled by the monarchy, have seen significant financial growth since Queen Elizabeth's accession. This wealth, which flows into the coffers of senior royals, further highlights the stark differences in how various members of the family engage with their wealth and titles. While Meghan and Harry have chosen to monetize their royal status in the U.S., Kate's approach remains rooted in the quiet dignity and service expected of a senior royal particularly in the UK. This contrast has only widened the gap in public perception between the two households. Criticism of Meghan's actions also extends to her decision to retain her royal title, the Duchess of Sussex. Many view her use of the title in the US as contradictory, especially since American culture does not traditionally recognize or value royal titles. Meghan's insistence on using the title while distancing herself from the duties that come with it, has been interpreted as a strategic move to maintain her status and visibility in the U.S., a country that largely values merit over inherited privilege. Harry's own relationship with the royal family has become increasingly fraught. His departure from royal duties is often discussed with a tone of regret, as some believe he didn't have to leave, but chose to do so under pressure from external influences, primarily his relationship with Meghan. This decision has further strained his connection with his family, leaving many to speculate about the long-term impact on his mental health and sense of belonging. Ironically, privacy remains one of the central issues in the Sussex's narrative. Harry has launched several lawsuits against media outlets for breaches of privacy, yet at the same time, he and Meghan have engaged extensively with media platforms, including gossip magazines and talk shows. This inconsistency has drawn ire from both the British public and the media, with many seeing their behavior as contradictory and opportunistic. Meghan's recent public appearance at a bookstore event with Oprah Winfrey, a gathering that showcased her media-savvy persona, further underscores the couple's complicated relationship with fame and publicity. While Harry and Meghan often criticize the intrusive nature of media scrutiny, their continued presence in high-profile public events seems to suggest a desire to stay relevant in the public eye, further complicating their image. In summary, the contrasting approaches of Kate and Meghan revealed deeper truths about how different members of the British royal family navigate the balance between personal and public life. Kate's cancer documentary, Free from Commercial Motives, resonates as a sincere and heartfelt project while Meghan and Harry's ventures are criticized for capitalizing on their royal connections. The ongoing debates about wealth, privilege, and hypocrisy in the royal family highlight the challenges of maintaining authenticity in the face of public scrutiny.